Hi, this is William from Great Affordable Watches, and in this video I'm going to review the Spinnaker Flues Bracelet Edition. And I have already reviewed this watch, but in a different color, without the bracelet, and uh, this is the bracelet version, as I said, so of course this watch comes on a new bracelet. But as always, let's start off with the specifications first. The case size is around 43.1 mm in diameter. The lug to lug length is around 50.1 mm. The case thickness is around 12.9 mm to the top of the slightly domed sapphire crystal. It got a lug width of 22 mm, water resistant down to 150 m or 15 atm, and it got the Seiko NH35 movement. But now let's get into the review. And as we can see, this watch is extremely similar to the previous flues, but of course with the added bracelet, which is of course a welcome uh, feature to this watch. And in my previous video, I said I really liked the design of this watch. And uh, I actually like this watch on the strap, but I know a lot of people uh, prefer a diving watch with a bracelet. So I'm sure that many people will appreciate the added bracelet option here. And the price of this watch is $350 without the discount code. And you can get uh, between 10 and 20% off if you find a discount code. So a pretty reasonable price for a watch with these specifications. You get uh, pretty good specs for the money. And when it comes to the design of this watch, I would say that they've taken inspiration from the Blancpain 50 Fathoms with the acrylic bezel insert and the overall dial layout. And I'm a big fan of the 50 Fathoms. So I, of course, uh, really like this design, as I said, in my previous review of the flues, I'm just a big fan of a crystal bezel insert. I think it looks really, really nice. And the dial on this watch is also really nicely done. It got a texture to it, but overall it's really, really minimal, very clean with only three lines of text here on the dial. And I like that they have a hint of red on the dial as well. I think that looks really good. Uh, the case is, of course, the exact same case as on the uh, previous flues without the bracelet. And uh, I must say it's a fairly compact case and the finishing on it is uh, yeah, pretty good considering the price. I would say it's definitely on uh, the better side when it comes to Spinnaker watches. I definitely like the, uh, the case here and we got a polished uh, chamfer here between the top and the side uh, which I always like but uh, this is the same case as the uh, previous flues as I said it of course got a signed screw down crown which is uh, very typical of a spinnaker watch and the movement of course is the Seiko NH35 they use this movement basically on every watch they previously used the Miura 8200 series, but uh, they are now upgraded to uh, the NH35 on uh, most of their watches. And the NH35 is of course a, a really nice workhorse movement from Seiko, which features hacking and hand winding. Um, I'm a bit tired of seeing the NH35 in so many watches these days, so it would be, have been nice with a Miura 9215 or something like that, but the Seiko NS35 is a great movement. Okay, what are some other positive things about this watch? I think the watch looks great. I really like the design of this watch. The looks, of course, are subjective, but if you like a vintage inspired diving watch, I think you will like this uh, look. And uh, the dial, as I said, is also really nice looking. I like the texture dial with the very clean and minimal text on it so yeah i really like that as well the bezel insert is uh, also really nice looking i think the dial and the bezel insert comes together really nice with this watch and the case finishing as well is uh, really nice for the money it's definitely not the best case finish i've seen on a watch in this price range but uh, it's uh, yeah it's fairly good 
fairly standard for the price, nothing to really complain about here. Uh, and of course the new thing, the bracelet. Uh, I must say the fit and finish of the bracelet in itself is actually really, really nice. I really like the look of the bracelet as well. I think uh, they have done an excellent job and the fit between the case and the solid end links are really really nice they sit very very tight which is uh, pretty impressive at this price range so yeah if you like a bracelet i'm sure you won't be disappointed in this one and um, i think they've done a good job it feels really high quality very very solid and and most importantly i think it looks good uh, but that brings me to some negative things about this watch while the bracelet is excellent in my opinion, good looking, good quality, etc. I think the clasp is uh, yeah, not particularly good at all. Uh, the clasp in itself, this part, is just, uh, it got very thin metal, plated metal, and the hinges doesn't feel particularly good. It do got a milled uh, clasp as we can see, but the quality of it is not that high. Uh, it's definitely not the worst clasp I have seen but comparing the clasp with the bracelet the clasp definitely uh, have worse quality than the bracelet so yeah that's a bit of a shame I would have liked to see a higher quality clasp as uh, this one doesn't feel that good to be honest but if you can oversee the fact that the clasp is uh, a, not the best I think the bracelet in itself is really, really good. And one other thing is of course the size of this watch. I think this watch is uh, just too big, uh, for me at least. And I would have loved to see a smaller version introduced together with the bracelet version. As we have already seen this exact same watch basically uh, before. So yeah, a smaller version would have been a really uh, welcome addition together with this bracelet release and we can do a quick wrist shot so you can see how it looks on my wrist okay here it is and as we can see this watch sits very very similar to the previous flues because it is the same flues and uh, the bracelet do look really nice together with this color combo i must say this watch do fit very well on the bracelet it's just a bit of a shame that the clasp is uh, uh, not the best, but uh, yeah, the watch overall looks really good. It's a bit too big, as I said, and I would have loved to see a smaller version, but uh, I'm sure a lot of people with bigger wrists than me uh, will appreciate this size. At least it's not the thickest watch, which is uh, yeah really nice uh, to see, at least. So overall, I really like the look of this watch. I think it offers uh, pretty good value for your money, which I always appreciate. The price is uh, just about right for what you get for your money. It's not too expensive. So yeah, I really like that. And uh, they have not increased the price that much for the bracelet version, which is also pretty nice to see. And before we end this video, I just want to mention that the bezel action is uh, really ni nice and solid, but it can be a bit hard to grip the bezel at times because of the coined edge bezel. Uh, I really like this bezel action, it's nothing wrong with it, but it's not the easiest one to grip. So yeah, keep that in mind. So okay, let me know what you think of this watch down in the comment section. Do you like this watch with the bracelet or with a strap? And yeah, let me know what you think of this watch uh, in general down in the comment section. Okay, thanks for watching, and if you like this video, please leave a like, and if you didn't, then leave a dislike. And uh, subscribe for more watch-related content, and I hope I see you in the next one. Bye.